Caddis Maximus here, this time with a little review of this Eclipse, number 171, made in England. So this, I believe, started out as an automatic center punch, the type where you press in and then it has a bypass uh, weight, so you press it in and it clicks and makes a little indentation for you to start a drill bit or mark a position. I believe that this one has been a little bit punished because this tip here, absolutely will not go anywhere i cannot pull it out or it does not wobble around but we can see that there's just a slight gap there so like the tip should slide out this cap i believe would normally unscrew but what they i believe they've done is they've put a little indentation here to prevent this cap from unscrewing it i tried to get it unthreaded and i just wasn't able to make it happen i actually grabbed onto it pretty hard with a set of pliers and I believe it's <laughs> been in this condition for a while because we can tell by the how beat up the end cap is that somebody has just been using this with a hammer as a normal center punch, which is what I'm going to do as well. It's unfortunate that whatever mechanism got uh, damaged, but I suspect this damage happened from somebody clicking, finding that it didn't have quite as good an indentation. Maybe they were working with hardened steel or something. So they clicked it down and then they used a hammer on it and somehow like jammed this into the whole mechanism inside, effectively ruining it, ruining the automatic function. But nonetheless, it still does work as a center punch. Really is nice. This is actually a pretty weighty unit. Um, I have a, uh, some stair center punches and this really reminds me of that. This is the machining on the body of this, as you can see, is just near perfect. The knurling is just absolutely excellent. Near perfect knurling right there. Really seems like a well-built tool. We can see the quality of steel on the end cap because it's been used with a hammer and it's actually holding up reasonably well. Comes with a little pocket clip. Not a lot else to say. Don't find a lot of hand tools out of England, but this is actually for a small little hand tool. They're still around. They still make them. You can order them and from Europe and get them shipped to the United States for some, it seems somewhere around the $30 range, $35 range is what it costs to get one in the United States. And overall, they seem pretty decent. So even though this one uh, was automatic and has been punished to where it's now just a fixed tip center punch, still going to keep it, still valid center punch. And it's once again here in the United States, you just don't run into very many hand tools that are made in England. And uh, this is actually a pretty nice example of workmanship here. And even though it's been punished, if we look at the tip, the tip is still on, does not appear to have been resharpened. When people resharpen the tips on grinders, it's really obvious because they don't really get uh, very even. Uh, they just don't do, you know, by hand, you don't do a very even job. So this definitely, this really looks like it's still the original tip. And it's really still pretty sharp. So once again, just want to make a little video about this uh, Eclipse England center punch. Just to bring more attention, the nice tools. Anyway, I really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Until next time, Caddis Maximus out.